The term ACEs stands for Adverse Childhood Experiences. And these are stressful or traumatic experiences that happen in childhood that can increase the risk for significant health, mental health, and behavioral consequences later in life. They really come from a big landmark research study that was done by the CDC and Kaiser now more than 20 years ago in which they asked adults about their history of 10 categories of adverse childhood experiences. And these include physical, emotional, or sexual abuse, physical or emotional neglect, or growing up in a household where a parent experienced mental illness, substance dependence, uh, incarceration, where there was parental separation or divorce, or intimate partner violence. What they found was number one, ACEs are super common, and number two, that there's this really significant effect. So there's a direct, what we call a dose response relationship between adverse childhood experiences and some of the most significant and serious health conditions that are facing Americans today. Two-thirds of individuals had experienced at least one, and one in eight folks had experienced four or more. When we talk about how many of us have experienced ACEs, what we see is that ACEs impact every community, every demographic group, but it impacts our vulnerable communities in a, a disproportionate level. The big surprise about the ACE study was that for someone with four more ACEs, their risk of heart disease was double, right? For stroke and cancer and liver disease and diabetes, even autoimmune disease. And a lot of these things are things that we didn't kind of traditionally or intuitively associate with childhood trauma. But now we can use this science to understand Actually, what happens in our brains and bodies when we're exposed to trauma or adversity, and especially in childhood. The term, the toxic stress response, actually refers to the prolonged activation of our body's stress response, the release of all those stress hormones like adrenaline and cortisol and all of those things that go along with our stress response and then also the ways in which that affects our bodies. Children are especially vulnerable to this repeated activation of the stress response because their brains and bodies are just developing. So high doses of adversity in children actually changes the way their brains develop. It changes the way their hormonal systems develop, their immune system develops, and even the way their DNA is read and transcribed. And those long-term changes are what we refer to as the toxic stress response. One of the things that's really challenging about ACEs is that they tend to repeat in families, generation after generation. And I will say this as someone who has experienced my fair share of ACEs, understanding how that might be impacting me and being able to recognize that, for me is really the key for being able to do things differently. When we understand what happens in our bodies with the toxic stress response, and we understand that it's pr that prolonged activation of our stress response, then step one is really understanding what are the things that help to regulate our stress response. And immediately at that point, we begin decreasing the harm that happened as a result of our past experiences. So things like mindfulness, right? Meditation, spending time in nature, uh, mental health interventions, regular exercise, nutritional strategies, and my favorite, healthy relationships. All of these things are really scientifically demonstrated to help to regulate the biological stress response, and they improve our outcomes 
for those of us who have experienced ACEs. These nurturing relationships, they, they feel good, which is good, of course, but they literally change our biology. When we have safe, stable, and nurturing relationships in our lives, it improves our neurologic functioning, it improves our hormonal regulation, it improves our immune functioning, and these social supports are critical part of healing. If we all understand our role in being a source of buffering care to a young person in need, that is truly transformative. ACES Aware is a first in the nation effort to train our healthcare providers how to screen for adverse childhood experiences and how to respond in an evidence-based, trauma-informed way that helps to improve outcomes for children and adults. ACEs are not destiny. Even if someone has experienced significant ACEs, it doesn't mean that they are absolutely going to have these negative outcomes. Recognizing our ACEs requires us to recognize our vulnerability. And that can be really scary. But it also is the place where we, we get a chance to ask for what we need. I deeply believe that we can cut ACEs and toxic stress by half in one generation.